guys, I just got my package in from Live Aquaria. I'll show you guys what I got. Uh, this is for my clam. I paid a total of $20. As always, you got your acclimation guide in here. Let you, let you know how to acclimate everything. And don't release your stuff in the wild. Uh, as always, heating pack. Still pretty warm. Let's see, the first thing we got in here is my yellow tip assorted hermit crabs. Should be 15 count in there. They look like there's plenty in there. Hopefully 15. I guess I'll count. Let's see, the next one should be. Oh my god, he's tiny. That, that's a medium? That ain't no medium. It's like a freaking small one. Dude, it's like so damn tiny. Wow. That's pretty much a mess up live aquaria. That's not a medium. And I got, holy moly, this thing's huge. Holy crap. So I got an elegant coral, a pink and purple tip. This guy's massive. Oh lord. Nice. This guy's bigger than I thought he was going to be. Good job on that, but it kind of screwed me on my cleaner shrimp. So I'm going to get these guys acclimated to my system, and uh, I'll let you guys know when I get back. So, important notice, um, you see my yellow tang, and you see who's missing. The self and tang's missing. Him and my self and tang got in a huge fight. And ever since then, my self and tang has been missing. And it happened when I was doing the water change. He just, they decided to just go berserk on each other. So I picked up some rocks. Obviously, you can see my escapes looks a little bit different over here. Because I went and looked underneath him to make sure he didn't die. But I can't find him nowhere. So, to the stuff that I ordered that came in. That I showed you guys previous. Um, here's my elegance coral. Opened completely up within an hour. All the way open. Awesome. Big. This is a medium sized one. Actually, Live Aquaria did pretty good with this this one. I right, see he's a little mad. But I cannot find myself in anywhere. Uh, my cleaner shrimp is somewhere. Oh, there's my red dragonette. He usually is never out. Cleaner shrimp is somewhere. Uh, you can see the yellow Legged hermit crabs are in there as well. So there's somewhere in there. Um, so I had a little aquascape, a different on this side. Still put the little cave in there for them to go through. Other than that, um, that's only what's new. Oh, and for Rob. So you want to know what I use? So I use a canister for my filter. Um, it's got four stages in there, biomedia and everything in there. Um, but all I use to keep my corals and everything looking nice and healthy, you really don't need a sump. I'm proving that you don't even need a sump to keep healthy corals and all that stuff in there. You know, I got my stuff in here that dose, you know, liquid calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, you know, just the normal stuff. Um, you know, I keep, you know, keep marine purple up and all that stuff in there. So it's not like I need a bunch of expensive stuff to actually run a nice reef system in here. So to let you guys know, it's, it's you don't have to pay a lot of money to make it work. It works without doing all that extra stuff to it. So there's no need to spend thousands of dollars for a sump. And yes, would I like to have a sump? Yeah, it would be nice, you know. But you don't, I'm proving that you don't have to do that as it is. You know, I don't plan on having a sump on the one back here, either. But, yeah, so far this is the update. And thank you for watching. And stay tuned for another episode.